Florida man accused of setting statue of Jesus home on fire. I like how his beard just continues down his his neck and into his chest. That's the sign of a real man. Beverly Hills, Florida. Deputies in Citrus County took a Beverly Hills, Florida man in ugh, into custody. They say set church property on fire Friday morning. Deputies were initially called to Our Lady of Grace Catholic Church in Beverly Hills regarding a brush fire around 7 a.m. But after arriving, a witness told first responders that a man ran right toward the torch, church, poured lighter fluid, pulled or liquid out of a gasoline can on a statue of Jesus before setting them both on fire. The Citrus County Sheriff's Office said surveillance video taken from the church's cameras showed the man also trying to light a propane tanks on fire next to the church. Fucking dumbass. If that had worked, it would have blown him up. However, the arsons did not stop there as first responders were called to two other property fires at homes in Beverly Hills. One homeowner on South Bar Barber Street told deputies that the fence was set on fire. According to the CCSO, a liquid believed to be gasoline was poured on the house's front door and windows. Home in South Wadsworth was also set on fire and suffered heavy damage, but no one was inside the time of de at the time, according to deputies. After reviewing the surveillance videos, the CCSO detectives identified arson suspect as James Lee Harris, two first names, 25 of Beverly Hills. The sheriff's office said Harris was taken into custody around 10 p.m. and confessed the fires after being read his right. Not only is arson dangerous, but can also, in some cases, be deadly, Sheriff Mike P Prendergast said. No one in our community was injured when Harris's tirade of inconceivable acts. I applaud our deputies, community crimes detectives, and our eh, partners at Citrus County Fire Rescue for working swiftly and diligently to keep our community safe from further harm. I'd also like to thank you, our witnesses, for coming, up, coming forward so quickly with invaluable information that helped us solve this crime. As part of this report, Harris is behind bars on one count of arson and to, to a dwelling, one count of misdemeanor criminal mischief, one felony count of arson to a church, and one count misdemeanor of criminal mischief. Yeah, that's just the face of a man who's going to do that again one day. Not all heroes wear capes. Ooh, edgy, my boy. So edgy. Oh, oh, God. That makes me want to get my knife out of the fucking table behind me. Just Oh.